When one little guy drifts left, the next guy hits him, and next thing you know, you're off and running, tumbling. Not a great jump for the 44, but he's able to best the guys to his right, and then they'll kind of sweep around him. Is that the 23? Who was that? The 12. 12, 12. That is the 12 of Christopher, Christopher Harris. Harris. He's got two, three scores, so a good start for Christopher Harris on the American-made Cobra. How did Ryder do that? He is in second. I thought they swept around. He must have did some magic there on the next couple of turns. I got to say, we're watching. He probably used that anthill to his advantage because he disappeared Whoa. on me for a second. That was slick. He hid behind some riders, pulled the Houdini, and comes out of there Looking in out. second place. Yeah, and uh, Christopher Harris going to have his hands full right here. Going to need to defend. Ryder uh, Ellis, what yeah. a great start. Or from the inside. It, he beat the guys to his right, but the guys to his left, they were all kind of sweeping around. Came around the first turn about seven. Man, it's what you do those next few turns, man. He was crafty. Yeah, it's so critical. And I don't know how many times at the pro level we've seen the same thing. Guy gets pinched out. He's seventh or ninth, and all of a sudden, he's gone. One good move, second position, and look at this. That's the 58 right behind him. That's Darren Pine undefeated in this class. Right. Is this the one? Can Ryder Ellis take care of Darren Pine? Nobody's been able to do it yet. Not yet. And uh, Ellis come up, like I said, had a great move earlier in one of these motos and then threw it away after that. But you're going to see the race right now because, as we said, Pine undefeated as of uh, through this moto. That's the number 58 machine coming up there in that second position right there. now. And Harris making uh, great line choices right now. Yeah. Stay away from those ruts. They sometimes can be faster if you can run through them clean, but if you're in any kind of doubt, just sweep around the outside early on until you kind of sort this racetrack out. Yeah, you notice he's avoided any slickness, any shiny spots out there whatsoever, and uh, just looking for all the traction he can find down into the Bermuda Triangle, and man, goes high. No berm out there whatsoever, so a perfect flat corner for him. And uh, take a look at this one after one. Ryder Ellis. Ellis, yes. They're behind second, Christopher Harris third, Brody Moss is fourth. Next time around, be interesting to see those lap times because that's going to give us a real story between Pine and Ellis. Now, would you consider those conventional or upside down fours? Because we've changed it about 900 times. Uh -huh. They're conventional. <laughs> we put them upside down. Oh, we got three and riders down, down, down right here. Back up. Uh, yeah, you know, Kevin, you bring up an interesting point on that. They're upside yeah. down. They're conventional. Right, yes. that is conventional in my book right now. But as far old school as you go, uh, there's only one kind of fork to me. That's the leg on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leg. everybody runs fork boost, don't they? Come on. All right, so Ryder Ellis, the accordion. got a two-second lead. There he goes in those Ten Commandments. A great shot. He's got a two-commandment lead over your second-place rider of Darren Pine. This shot is money. Ellis is going outside, not even messing around with those inside lines there. Smart young man right there on the Team Green Kawasaki. And I always say, you see a Team Green kid on a Kawasaki 65, just guarantee the kid can rip. <laughs> yeah, you a little bit, you know, It's a little bit dated technology, yep. so they have to do a lot to make that bike competitive. Yep. And obviously, they have. he got a great start. He's riding it. You can race that thing, and you can win, and he's showing you. Oh, it's absolutely proof. It, uh, it, it goes to show us there are two components to this, the motorcycle and the rider. Yeah, okay? absolutely. You can go by any machine. And guess what, Kevin? If you and I want to drop the dinero, we can make that KX a factory bike. That we really can, if that's what we want to do. If we're loyal to it, you can go into the showroom today, Kevin, buy your favorite color. Okay, and it's competitive if your rider is. Yes. It's competitive 100%. if your athlete's competitive. There is the 58 on that Cobra looking great in the number two spot. He doesn't have to do anything. He can sit right there. He yeah. might just very well be doing that. We've seen some championships thrown away throughout uh, the day. So, man, these drone shots are cool. There is Ryder Ellis. Nope, that is the second place rider, Darren Pine. Ellis just in front of him. Sometimes you, you prove a point, you don't make a statement. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just sit there. We proved our point. Let we don't happen. have to make a statement. We don't have to drive it home. Yeah. You know. That's how you manage. That's how you yes, win sir. championships. Yes, sir. Maturity. All right. Here they come. The leaders have come across the stripe. And it's Ryder Ellis 44 out front with a 2.16 lap time. Two seconds quicker than Darren Pine. There is Pine. 
We've been announcing time for a bit here along with Harris, Brody Moss, and Maverick Gip Gish in the number five spot. Travis Johnsmeyer, six. Colt Martin is seventh. Braden Comerford is eight. Wyatt Duff is ninth. Camden Iker is tenth. So Colt Martin rides that 50cc 7A class. Now he's in the 65cc 7A class as well. So he's riding a automatic 50 Cobra. Then he transitions over to the clutched Cobra 65. So down into the Ten Commandments, we go with our leaders. There's the Kawasaki, and there is the 44. They've already left those Ten Commandments. The 12 of Harris, that's who we're following right there. Man, there's a great shot on uh, Instagram of the drone that literally was about five feet from a guy on the biggest jump on the track. Oh, nice. I, I tell you, I, I've said it many times. I've, we've all seen drone coverage from everything from uh, Air, Ayersburg, Ayersburg to dirt truck. Are you kidding me? No, that's a drone that's a shot. Real, that's a drone shot during the race. That looks like it come off of MX versus ATV all out. Wow. That's incredible. I call that expert driving, guys. What's <laughs> talking about? On, on both parts. What's the problem? Yeah, yeah we've got a good pilot and a great, and a great rider. There go. There's our third place rider, Christopher Harris on the number 12, Cobra. As we continue to fly alongside the number 12 of Christopher Harris. And here comes the rest of the boys bouncing away around that big sweeper. Two of the rougher sandy sections, they really focus a ton of sand. And this sweeper in front of us in the announcer's tower, the Poly Sports yep. sweeper. And then that uh, Rocky Mountain ATD, is that who's over there? Or is that a different portion now? That's the still the Rocky Mountain Beach. Okay. So two different beaches, the, the Gulf and you have the Pacific, the, yeah, the Atlantic. Yeah, absolutely. And we are three laps into this bad boy, and it's Ryder Ellis going out with a bang, grabbing that little clutch. Excellent form. There's the pit board by the surgeon. Nope, that's his dad. Look how rough that is. I think Weege got to see that pass, Ryder Ellis, the other day. Manualed through the inside, just caught to, I believe it might have been Pine by surprise. Remember that when Harris came out? I mean, just, or Ellis, Ryder Ellis. I've said Harris twice, Dag, I apologize. But just literally on the rear wheel, manual that thing, comes to the inside, and it was just like, supposed to happen. Wasn't set up, supposed to happen. So there is the Ten Commandments again. We'll pick it up with our Kawasaki rider, Ryder Ellis, out of California, new to the Team Green program. And that is a direct pipeline right to Mitch Payton's truck. That's what you want to do, <laughs> yeah. man. Just Get on board, take it for a ride, and yeah. zip right all the way into Corona, California and say, what's up? Pull up under the canopy and throw That's that thing on the stand. You're exactly right. It's worked pretty well for several kids. Pretty good scene from over there on Wardlow Road. I, I couldn't agree more. I will promise you. About 12 minutes to go now, Kevin. So uh, 20 minutes on this one, of course. So winding our way down. Going to come up to that halfway point here in just a moment. And uh, with these two 15 or so uh, lap times, going to see somewhere around four more, maybe five more laps. Well, we think Darren Pine is doing the right thing. He's just yep. managing I this do. bad boy. I would, I would, and that's a smart thing to do. He does not have to be nope. this young man right here, the number 44. Nope. So everybody's a winner here. Yeah, and that's, that's a tough thing to do as well. Uh, you know, you, you, you're focused to charge and push ahead, and uh, you... You don't want to ride too slow. You don't want to give up any points and that type of thing. But man, you just don't want to take that chance. Then you start feeling the wobble. Then you start hearing things in the bike. Then the rear tire feels like it's losing a little air. Then, <laughs> you know. Not if you're 10 years old. Ah. Uh, I think they're just riding, having a ball, thinking about the creek, grabbing that hot dog later on and ice cream. You know what? Also back home, I wonder what everybody back home in Ryder Ellis' hometown, they're watching on Racer TV. Yep. You know probably 30 people from his family are sure. checking this race out cheering for their guy. Everybody's at local the shops watching. They got yeah. it on at the dealership. The boys back at the shop, Team Green Kawasaki, those of them are, that are not here. Right. Good battle there. The 50th oh. laid it in there. That was Darren Pine and Christopher Harris slugging it out. And I think the 58 of Pine is getting some heat from Christopher Harris. I love it. And that's how this guy rides, too. I love it. That's exactly how this Pine rides, right. too. I get it, man. He hangs that thing out, man. He'll, Digging. Yeah, absolutely. He lets that bike move. 
around the big left-hander. It's going to be Ryder Ellis. Going to swing it wide right here, going into the Ten Commandments, the 44. That is Ryder Ellis. I know we've said it a million times. It's Ellis, Pine, and Harris, one, two, three, Moss, and Gish. No change there. I Comfort can. has not been able to roll up into the top five. Johns Meyer, Martin, Thurman, and Duff. That is your MMI top ten, the Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. Like you said, no change up front there, but i tell you where the change has been. That inside line leading into the commandments doesn't work right now. <laughs> yeah, they can't that double. Does, it does not yeah, work right now. That line has gone away. And right. we've actually seen some really good passes sure. from the inside. Yep. And it's just not happening. Uh, just went to the well so many times, deteriorated that line, and just can't get the lift to get That's that it. timing going. Especially on the 65. Nah, not going to happen. We're watching the number 12 of Christopher Harris now as he's watching Darren Pine race away from him. And it looks like... No, he's actually got in front of him. Pardon me. He's gotten around Darren Pine. Yeah. Darren Pine now slips yep. to third. He could still drop a few spots. He, yeah, he's not excited about it the least bit. Not, okay. not Yep. About nine minutes to go in this one. Just going to be about uh, four laps. So even with that drop in position, Darren Pine only gives up a point. He will then have five points. Ryder Ellis will still have seven good enough the lowest point total yep. wins we have a three yep. moto format for those of you keeping score at home or if you don't really know how motocross or specifically loretta lens work we average out the scores three moto format best man always wins in that yeah that's uh, you know a lot of time and thought went into this format uh through the qualifiers i mean everything you do to get here once you get here there's no way you lucked into it. it's just absolutely impossible that at the area, the regional, <laughs> the final moto number three. You know, yeah. you got lucky the whole way through and come out of here with champion. <laughs> no, but that's, 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 that's never happened. No. History has never written that story that way. Well, we have the heat turned down a little bit right now, but next weekend we've checked out the weather. And we're going to crank it up a little bit. Going to get you up to about the mid 90s. So Eli Tomac and all the boys. Be Look, looking forward to that. I can tell you time. right now, you better believe it. May, uh, firing pan right in the first round of AMA Pro Motocross. I may stack another window unit back here. We may have them too tall and uh, get this thing frosty for Rob Bidas. Me, uh, <laughs> Me too. Absolutely. All right, Ten Commandments is where you will find the front of the pack. It is still Ryder Ellis. He's got a six-second lead over Christopher Harris now, who's worked his way around Darren Pine. Didn't really change how the championship looks, although Ryder Ellis and Christopher Harris are now tied in points, but Ellis wins the yep. second place position by virtue of being ahead of him in the third moto. That's how we break ties here. Yeah, we mentioned the inside leading into the uh, Ten Commandments. Nobody's uh, again on the exit. Nobody's using the inside again. That is just deteriorated. That uh, anthill, yeah. it's got a big hole in it. So if you do use it, you're going to get sucked into that hole. Get a little He's spackle and fix that up. What are we going to do about that? <laughs> exactly. Well, Pat, patch that hole, Kevin. Come on, man. Patch it. Spackle that thing. The spackle. There's the number 99. Look at that. That's Braden Comerford up to fourth. All right. 13 seconds between Darren Pine and Comerford. Still wouldn't make a difference. If you made that pass, Darren Pine would still be your winner. Yeah, like I said, not going to get excited. Time winding down right here under seven minutes now. Coming up on six and a half minutes. And again, 215, 220 lap times. Uh, looking at about three laps. So do the math. I don't want to. How, how, many, not in how, how, how much time can you make up in three laps at uh, a second a lap? Well, yeah, three seconds. There you, there you go. Well, we're still having a good time watching our Kawasaki ride of Ryder Ellis. He might have company right behind him. Well, no, that's Maverick Gish on the 97 machine, perhaps, as our leader has already come through. The 58, Darren Pine in third, just came across the stripe. Now we'll look at the number 23 of Brody Moss, followed by Maverick Gish on the 97 machine. That is six laps. Up and over that tunnel of love, a little step up. The tunnel of like in the. No, I was going to say seven to nine. That's pretty much that breaking it's point for the like oh, thing. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I was almost. No, yeah. It's the tunnel of. Yeah, it's a little tacky there. Yeah. It's, tunnel, it's a tunnel of yuck. No, not Right yet. now. Yeah, exactly. For seven to nine. Yeah. Tunnel of not even thinking about that. Yeah. Tunnel of ooh. Ooh, gross. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All around the outside, that's where you'll find most of these 65cc riders. The ruts are tough. As I say that, he goes to the inside. Prove me wrong. And that was the Mohawk man, the 51 of Gage Dunham. 
not his best work. He did go down in the sight line. That kind of throws you off just to get started. It, it does. It does. Sometimes I wonder if they are listening to us and just, you know, I'm going to prove that Kevin Kelly. I'm going to tell me, I'm going to show Mega what's wrong. I'm going outside. They're definitely not listening to us. <laughs> no. I can <laughs> that. No point. Another inside move there. Got to do what you got to do now. There's the 44, the Kawasaki of Ryder Ellis. Somebody who is listening to us right now is Wheels. I see Wheels down there right on the fence taking all this in. Going to keep everybody up to date on some social media. Going to keep uh, some information flowing across the web there. There's the number 97 of Maverick Gish trying to run down Brody Moss. That's the battle you see on your TV screen. They are working their way towards that Rocky Mountain ATV beach. You got a rider right in front of him as well. And that's going to be great comfort to have there. Maybe that's a lap rider. I'll take that back. That's the 97. And then Travis Johnsmeyer maybe on that 94 machine. Comerford solid all week. Comerford, great job. Yep. And you see, guys, parents get worried. They're like, man, my kid's not the top of the class at age 10. Ugh. It does not matter. Your kid is going to peak whenever opportunity and circumstance, everything comes together for that young man. They're all different. Just and because this kid, is, it doesn't mean anything at 15 Unfortunately, or it may cost tens of thousands of dollars more before he peaks at 16. Correct. Some peak at 11. Ryder T, guess what? John Dow peaked at 38. <laughs> yeah, Ryder, Ryder T, L R T D peaked at four. Right. So, and it's still peaking. And he's at a very so. high clip right now. <laughs> Everybody's different. Everybody's different. This is lap seven, Ryder Ellis, a 217. 10 seconds out front of Christopher Harris. To that board is out, Darren Pine in the number three spot. He's five seconds behind Harris. Brayton Comerford is fourth. Maverick Gish rounds out your top five. There's a look at the 97 Maverick Gish. A nice tight shot there. Can you make eye contact there. with the camera? I hope not. He needs to pay attention yeah. to the racetrack. So, looks like the two-lap board perhaps, or the white flag now at this point. Still believe, yeah, two-lap card still flying. We got Rob Beams in the tower. We're going to get him on the uh, microphone here just a bit, let him kind of... Absolutely, let's get a headset up. cleaned up for him. And we'll let him jump in on the next moto. No need to get excited right now. We'll take this one down to Jason Wygant, who's going to talk to our winners. Ellis is going to win the moto, but it looks like Darren Pine would be your overall champion if you freeze the field. Into the Ten Commandments, another overhead shot. Everybody really liking that left-hand side. You'll see the bigger bikes kind of drift over to the right. They can get out of that inside and double into the Ten Commandments. A little bit harder for these little dudes. That is Storyland. Named after the family. The story there. They used to flag all back in there. How about that? You get a chunk of this track named after you. There is the number 23. Brody Moss on the Husqvarna. That young man has been flagging right there in that same spot all week long. Done a great job. Beard is great as the days have gone on. He's had to do some work over there. The Rocky Mountain ATV Beach, that is where you will find the number 97. We are watching you. Maverick Gish. The strong ride. This track is lined with golf carts. It's better than them being on the road. And there's our guy, the number 44, wheeling through those braking bumps. One finger on the clutch, elbows up. Flips that little clutch, gets it back on the RPM. Dad writes a couple more words of encouragement. He zips right on by, doubles out of the mechanics area, even though there's not a jump. Goes around that decision maker. Excellent form there. The Team Green Boys picked him up. Said, you're going to be our 65 guy moving forward. He has done a wonderful job on that 44. Way to finish off that week here in the 65, 7 9 for Ryder Ellis. Picking his way through lap traffic here, I believe, on this white flag lap. As we have one minute left to go. Ryder working his way down towards the Ten Commandments. There he is, the drone flying right alongside with him. Again, our drone pilot's the best in the business. I've, I've seen off-road drones. I've seen uh, IndyCar drones, the whole deal. And uh, we get the best drone operators there are. Take a look at this coverage. Take a look at the uh, shots you're getting. That picture you guys showed me a little bit ago, absolutely amazing. I mean, like sitting on the seat of the bike. Yep. Absolutely incredible. It truly is. As nice you said. There. White flag is out, right? Yep. White flag is out. Should be seeing that number 44. There he is. Working his way back through the trees and uh, going to bring this one out to the front of the track here in just a moment. 
coming Avoid through them. Avoid any pitfalls. <laughs> My chance. <chaps. laughs> yeah. Earthquakes out on that racetrack. Anything can happen. That ginormous explosion you saw in Iran the other day. Lots of people got video of that. Did you see that? I, I did. I did, as a matter of fact. Wow, the, the blast wave that came with it. Was incredible. Yeah, incredible. You see the one from the boat in the water? Uh, I don't think I did that see that. Wicked. It was from the other side, and the, the water comes rushing out of them. They were really? Out, oh, running. so it was the view of a yeah. coming toward them. Yeah, the other ah. one from land. This one's from gotcha. water. Gotcha, gotcha. Frightening. So there he is. He is frightening on a racetrack. Ryder Ellis, the 44, is going to do it. On that Team Green Kawasaki ride, maybe he's riding the Hubert's Lemonade as well. I'm not sure if he's on board with them yet. There he is, one-handed. He's pumped. That's a way to go out with a win. Why not? Ryder Ellis goes 4-2-1 for seven points. We're looking down the track for Christopher Harris. He should finish up second. That'll be good enough for third overall. But the man of the hour is going to be your third-place finisher, Darren Pine. one one three scores. And Pine, just impressive all week. I mean, absolutely showed great race management there right now. But uh, when necessary, he was slamming those berms, making sure time, and uh, walks out of here with two moto wins and a third uh, to earn that championship. And I got to tell you something, that's going to pump up the chest. That's going to give you a lot of confidence. And uh, I tell you what, that makes all those days in the heat, oh, all man. those laps in the dust, man, worthwhile right now. All the dumb for things everybody. Said. You're like, hey, oh. Really? You don't know what you're talking about. Huh? All, all makes sense now. Yeah, it makes sense. He doesn't look so dumb now. No. Absolutely. No, I look smart. Are you talking about me? Uh, Let's no. talk about me. Let's talk yeah, about me. We're not talking Let's about talk you, about me. Jason. I can tell you were talking about me when you're saying I'm, you know, not looking dumb. I just know how that works. Whatever. All right, so we're going to celebrate a moto win. It was darn close but not quite enough for the title. So let's put the number 44 machine up on the stand and we'll celebrate the Moto win. He's on the number 44. He ends the week with a gold medal in his Moto. Let's hear it for Chris. Down front here, Ryder. How'd that moto go, man? You know you had to win it. You did what you d had to do. How'd it go? Oh. How'd it go? It went pretty good. I got like fifth on the star and just made a bunch of passes around the outside. Uh, and then uh, I just stayed consistent and just Cruised all the way to the finish line, no mistakes. Proud to at least get the moto win, does that feel good? Yeah, I wish I could have got the overall. I messed up in the first moto, I fell. But I'm still proud on Pine and um, Christopher Harris. They did really good. That's cool, good to hear. All right, who do you want to thank? God, Mom, Dad, Team Green, Pro Circuit, Kawasaki, uh, Jesus Lord, keeping me safe. Um, Scott, Fly, Asterisk, Alpine Stars, 60, Maxima, you and I, Filters, and everybody else, so thank you so much. Ryder Ellis, everybody, your moto winner in the 7 to 9, 65. Okay, we'll take the 44 machine off and we'll bring the 58 machine up. I'm going to talk to our second place finisher. Yep. All right, we got the number 12 coming up to the stage right in the mix. Got the Stasic Whole Shot Award. Nice, nice job, bud. And a silver medal. He rode great all week. Let's hear it for the number 12 of Christopher Harris. <laughs> yeah, silver medal and a Stasic Whole Shot Award. Good job. Take us through that moto, Christopher. How'd it go from your perspective? Pretty good. How'd you rip that start, bro? Same as always. Yeah? Grip it and rip it? Mm-hmm. All right, buddy. Who do you want to thank? Uh, my mom, my dad, Tap House, Ted Painter, Kyle Cunningham, Scott, Troy Lee, Sean Smith, Tyson, Bees Moto Lab, um, and anyone else that I forgot. There it is, Christopher Harris. And now, your champion, 79, 65, the number 58 Cobra, Let's hear it for Darren Pine. Yeah. 
And he did what he had to do in the final moto. Darren, what's the pressure like coming into a third moto, man? What were you thinking about? I mean, I was kind of nervous, but, you know, I got off the gate pretty good. I got, like, second or something out of the gate. And, you know, I just tried to ride my race, have some fun, and keep it on two wheels. All right. What's it feel like now? It's exciting. All right, buddy. Who do you want to thank? Uh, my mom and dad, 100%, Bees Moto Lab, Cobra, Dunlop, Shift. Um, yeah, and that's everybody. All right. He is your national champ. I want to bring to the stage Richard White from the American Motorcyclist Association to hand over the number one plate, the national championship in 65-79, Darren Pine. Yeah.